Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always, okay? I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of what light. And pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemies have stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is, dead. it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. All blockages placed in your life, in your path, by your enemies. All chains placed in your life, in your path, by your energies are all broken and removed. <laughs> I say removed, right? They're all removed. Okay. As I have said, and so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into this read. You have a queen of swords out here. Someone may be speaking the truth, bringing something to the attention of a community, or a community could be kind of coming to terms with some type of situation. There is something where you have a queen, king of cups behind the scenes that want to work with you. I don't think they have really much to do with this community. Or this is someone, oh, actually, yes, they do. Someone is leaving a community or leaving a family behind so that they can partner up with you. So they can partner up with you. I am so glad I cut that. Yes, Sally yes someone's putting an end to his relationship his connection with a family or he's telling them i don't care what it is you all think i'm gonna go ahead and do what it is i want to do because this is my calling he's not telling him that it is that this is his calling he's just saying that he has made the final decision he wants to work with you someone has gone through an ascension someone was part of a community that didn't exactly stand up for what was right um, someone may have been uh, like living in the darkness for a long time and did not realize that he was living in the dark. So maybe his exposure to you, you could be an earth angel, empress, you could be a higher fan, uh, some type of practitioner, okay? His exposure to you has led to some type of awakening to, for him. This is something he's been doing gradually behind the scenes. So someone has been healing by himself behind the scenes, yeah, without people knowing. He's been healing, like keeping his eyes focused on the future, on his ascension. He's been going through some type of ascension, right? Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, it's like self-actualizing, having foresight of the whole situation. Well, maybe, maybe the family has been going up against you, causing you some type of distress or something like that for some of you. And now he has foresight of the whole situation and what he has really been a part of. I think someone is coming to the awareness of what his family has always been doing and it's kind of breaking his heart because this is not something he's realizing is beneficial for his family himself or anyone at all so this is like for example you have a community of dark workers they've always been in this mindset they've always been dark workers there's no reason for them to change because what they say it works for them right and he's been a part of this as well this could be a water sign this could be a sagittarius that's going through some type of ascension or that has gone through some type of ascension right but they've always been dark they've always been out here being cut throwing all kinds of stuff because of money because of greed and things like that okay yeah because of money and they've always been committed to betraying people even each other and they call themselves family they call, they call each other family well maybe this masculine has some type of uh, uh interaction with you whether you work for them whether you went to school with them whether they watch you something like that right and there are things that you have brought to this person's attention without you knowing um and it has caused some type of awakening in him and this is what's allowing him to heal and become a better version of himself okay yeah he's going through an awakening folks this man is going through an awakening the family is not happy about this because this is someone they use as your cash cushion. This is someone that's very high ranking in this organization. This is, yeah, this is someone that's very high ranking in this organization. This is a business savvy person. This is a like an entrepreneur. This is someone very successful in life, okay? And he has committed himself to his healing. This is not something they, they want. Laura, you know you're around the wrong people when they have a problem with you going through an ascension. I'm telling you. 
he has made a decision someone wants to work with you his family does not want him to work with you still so different costs and blockages he's coming in to give you some type of offer he's coming to give you some type of offer no one knows when this offer is going to take place i want you to be mindful as well because there could be something that's very uh Oh, there's something here. It says you have two offers coming in. Something is planned. Like you have a masculine that may be sending someone towards you as well to cause you some type of illusion. Okay. Um, someone wants to come in. Yeah, I said they're sending someone. So you need to be very alert. You need to go within about two offers you're about to receive or just the offer you're about to receive. There's an ulterior motive behind one of these offers. Okay, there is an ulterior motive behind this offer. I'm telling you, you need to go within and think about it before you invest anything into it, whether that's just time, attention, uh, energy, money, resources, whatever. Think about it because someone's offer that they're giving you is not going to be flourishing into anything. Yeah, it's going to be you hanging yourself. Someone is going to benefit more from you be involved in something then you are going to be in uh that then you will benefit from it so some of you it's probably just best for you to work alone until source tells you hey this is the person i want you to work with this is someone you have a contract with and uh, uh nine times out of ten if you are awakened and someone comes towards you to give you an offer you'll know if they are genuine you'll get that feeling this is someone very genuine so thread with caution. Someone is just very ambitious in life, but the way they go about their ambition is not something that's really appealing. It's not appealing in any way, shape, or form. Someone does not mind who they step over. You could also have a gentleman in here that's very desperate. Yeah, there's ulterior motives. There is ulterior motives. Someone is going to come in and lay it on you, make it seem... You know, like when it says, if something seems too good to be true, then it more than likely is. Yeah, this is one of those situations. It's going to make it seem like it's really good. This is the offer of your dream, okay? But this is something that's being orchestrated by a group of men behind the scenes for some of you, okay? You could have some of you work for companies. The boss is involved in this. Uh, if he has uh, like a friend or relative or someone, a group of friends of his working together, they're all in on this. Some of you have familiars that's involved in this uh, plan that's being orchestrated, exes, family members, cousins. This is a group of men coming together. Uh huh. They're going to send you a feminine energy because they know you don't trust none of them. There's something where you're going to know who it is that's sending this person because there's something she's going to say to you and it's going to kind of hurt your antennas. Okay, so source is letting you, letting you know ahead of time. There is someone being sent to you by a group of men. This is a plan for them to get you off the right track. So let's say, I, let me use my definition for example, correct? I do definition, right? Now there are thousands of people in the world, millions of people in the world that believe in the same thing I believe in. In a sense, this is a form of religion. If we don't want to admit it, this is a form of religion, okay? If, self, if it is self-guided, you don't need a third party to... Uh, uh, establish their connection with source because you come from source so you're already a part of source so you don't have to go to a chapel a building to you know praise and worship source or whatever it works for certain people it doesn't work for other people now our religion as far as divination right there are people that have a problem with it even though there are millions of us on the planet that believe in this there are people you know from the christian the religious the judeo christians that have problems with this but then you come across certain ones that do believe in Christianity and they also believe in this. So, you know, that's why this this planet is the, the bowl of Tessetti. You have a mixture of everything in there. But let's focus on the ones, the Judeo-Christians that are not open-minded and want and feel uncomfortable with these kind of practices, right? They want you to fall off of your path. Even though this is the path that the Most High has told you that you need to be on, you're on the right path. So for my tarot platform, whatever this is, my, my tarot practice or whatever, you know, source tells me here, this is the path. This is what you agree to do when you incarnate and you've got it on that path. So stay on that path. You're in going in the right direction, right? So I'm on my path now. I'm headed in the right direction. I'm doing all the learning I need to do behind the scenes. You know, you all don't see that portion of this uh, this journey, which you don't need to. 
Um, I just need to make sure that I'm doing that part behind the scenes, right? So every day I'm on here giving you all these div definition uh, videos and things like that may be helping a lot of you see things a little bit more clearer or be a little bit more introspective, become a little bit more analytical when things are going on or people are coming towards you. Just when situations are taking place uh, through my divination practices, you may learn how to be a little bit more analytical. Uh, think twice about certain things and places and people before you get involved with them, right? There, Well, there are people behind the scenes that have a problem with this. They're like, oh, that's demonic. But the whole time, you know, they're behind the scenes uh, worshiping a whole deities and making uh, sacrifices, doing rituals and things like that. But they hide that aspect of theirs, right? So it's not that they don't really trust what I'm saying or believe in what I'm saying. It's that they don't like the fact that I'm so open with it. This is something someone is in. There's a group of men that are bothered. There's an organization that is bothered by the fact that you are so open with your spirituality like myself here. They want to shut you down. You know how you turn on a, gener a generator and it powers up the whole facility or the building or something? Well, they want to go in and off your generator. They say, oh, it hurt. her light is too, her, like my light will be too much for those people. They said, no, she's powering the whole house or the whole community. This is dangerous. We're not going to be able to control these people and keep them bounded to us, keep keep them on the wrong path. We're not going to be able to keep this empowering them, right? And also, they really just have a problem with you being, you know, on your right path. So they're orchestrating a plan to send someone in to give you some type of offer that's not legit. They're going to make it seem like it's something really out of this world. And source is telling you, be analytical. Look into things. You know, don't just jump into the boat because someone comes to you in this energy and tells you, I want to work with you. They're telling you, look it over. Look at the fine details. Read the fine print before you accept anything or sign anything because someone is very desperate to have some type of hold of you. And the moment you sign some type of contract with them, it's going to keep you bonded. Again, this is something I need to tell you all. Rarely in life do you ever have to sign a contract when it comes to spirituality. If you're doing something spiritual, you rarely ever have to sign a contract. So that should let you know automatically that something is not for you. Your ancestors have already called you on the right path. This is a tower for these people. This is something they're planning. Look it over. You don't need to sign a contract with anyone because there's really nothing you should need to do that with. I tell you, I tell you, most of the people, like the professional and genuine spiritualists that I've come across, they don't do contracts. They're not forcing anything on you. If you, let's say, just recently, I was trying to find a school, right, to uh, start my journey with the uh, hypnotherapy uh, uh, practice, right, becoming a, a hypnotherapist, a certified hypnotherapist, right? And I found this school, you know, their program sounded like it was the bee's knees. It was a beautiful program. They offer a lot of the stuff I'm looking for, right? Um, but when it came to the prices, I'm like, yeah, I have to be realistic about this situation. I have to be realistic. I'm not about to be paying a thousand dollars a month. First of all, I'm a single mom. My ancestors have called me, you know, to do this, but they're not telling me to be out here being a airhead, just throwing money into stuff. I'm a single parent again, feisty as can be, honey. Oh, this is my energy all the time, all the time, all the time. This energy here and the queen of pentacles, baby girl, we don't play around here. Because we, we have our destiny we are going to fulfill, okay? So me revealing th this to you is a tower. This They're going to send a female to you because they think she's going to be able to relate to you. She's going to be able to, you know, get you something, uh, uh, get closer to you. So you are being told to be vigilant, right? Look at the fine print. Look at the details. Listen. Listen when this woman is telling you, okay? Listen when she's talking to you. I said there's a female, and I didn't even know this female was back here. Listen when she's talking to you because this is someone that's very charismatic, very good with using words, very manipulative. They're sending her towards you, and it's going to be a tower because you're going to reject this, and you're going to stay on your path that Source has told you to stay on because if you get into an alliance with these people, this is going to be you, this tower falling from grace, falling from grace with the most high. You're going to be starting some type of a, 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 a karmic cycle again, okay? And source, your ancestors are already intervening on your behalf. They don't want you 
partnering up with these people. So source may be even dismantling their foundations so that they're not even able to come in and give you your offer. So that means you're clear to go and they're trapped in something they cannot get out of, right? Because clarity, I'm telling you, <laughs> no, you cannot listen. You saw how I picked up that car? <coughs> it, it literally flipped and fell. You're not, you do not have to go ahead to work with these people. They're liars. They're hiding something. They're hiding something. They're hiding their, their, their truth, right? Within themselves, their, their actual intentions for you, they are hiding those. These are not people that have good intentions for you. This is why they are burdened behind the scenes about you receiving a genuine offer that's going to lead to prosperity for you and help you to see things a little bit better, remove you from their proximity because these are people that are watching you monitoring you invading some of your privacies and things like that and you're going to be removed from their energy from around them some of you are about to be traveling to new places and things and they are still determined because they know you have this offer coming in to defeat you it's not going to happen these people are already defeated they they're working either with someone or against someone and he's taking some type of action trying to bring balance Again, he's taking action because he's made some type of decision to work with you. But this is not someone that they really know, okay? And he's traveling towards you. This is not someone that he knows. They have a king of pentacles in here as well. I think I saw him, the king of pentacles, that wants to come towards you that's going through some type of law. So he's coming in very quickly to make you some type of offer. But this offer is going to leave you in the gutter it's going to leave you out in the cold because that man is very uh sneaky slimy okay so you're going to be connecting with a new soul trap which will allow you to close on chapter with this a uh, closer chapter i'm sorry with these toxic people someone wants to have closure with you but the closure is not necessary you need to move on with your life and take charge of this new opportunity right put an end to this madness with these people they've been causing stagnation in your life for a long time because you're committed to your path your healing which is your victory so you're not really meant to work with these people i'm telling you you're not meant to work with them it is an illusion with them okay there go the queen of pentacles do not work with them stick to your path the path that source has clarified for you they've let you know a lot of the times when you start on some type of new journey i'm telling you stick to your path whether you are if you are alone not whether if you just started a business started a platform started some type of new position whatever it is source has told you in some way somehow that you are on the right path and you need to stick on that right path you are the one in power you are in charge of your own destiny and as long as you stay on that path and you are acting out of the kindness of your heart the most high will always come through for you so you don't need to be worried about what people are doing what type of actions what plans nothing like that but just so you know you have someone that's traveling towards you and then you have someone that's been sent towards you to offer you some type of contract again you don't need to sign any contract you will know oh back to the school things right so i'm like okay i don't i'm not about to be putting in a thousand dollars a month into something that's real expensive that's ridiculous and you know he was talking to me about it he said um i told him i need time to think about it because that's a big commitment and i don't want to commit myself to something that i'm not going to be able to you know see through i don't like to commit myself to things that i don't understand full heartedly or i don't feel a hundred percent about and paying a thousand dollars a month to something is not something I can guarantee you I'm going to commit myself to because maybe that's a thousand dollars a month I can stay in my savings account for something for a rainy day so no thank you um I didn't say it like that but I told him you know give me some time let me think about it give me about three days let me a uh, week I think let me uh sit down and do my budgeting and I'll get back to you uh so we schedule a day for me to reach out for him to reach out to me actually and I went home that day, sat down, did my little budgeting. I said, oh, no, this ain't, this ain't going to work. No, 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 no. I don't even care if I have the money, don't have the money. I'm not willing to pay that a month for anything. So I got online, did a little research, found a school that's a whole lot affordable as far as plan-wise, found one for $98 a month. I'm like, yeah, honey. And they are upright. 
you know, they stand for what's right. They care more about what they're teaching people instead of the money. Not that the first school, not that that's what they were concerned about, <clears throat> but I, I, I'm sharing that story so I can tell you why the first school was a genuine one, just like the second school is a genuine one. It's just a price difference, right? And what I'm willing to pay and what I'm not willing to pay. So I reached out to him after I did my research on the second school and I said, hey, Billy, you know, <clears throat> we're just going to throw a name out there. I said, hey, thank you so much. But I was able to find a school that's for $98 a month. Uh, so I'm going to be sticking with him. And he said, oh, thank you for letting me know. And I think he was a congratulations or something like that. That lets you know that there's no like ulterior motive behind certain things like that. Because in like the corporate world, you know, the slimy um, recruiters and things like that, this is the time where they think they're supposed to talk you out of you being able to go to that second school because they want that money. But that's what I'm saying. A lot of genuine uh, uh, spiritualists that actually care about your ascension, they're not trying to force you into anything. They're not trying to manipulate you into anything. So this is why you need to be vigilant when people come to worship and try to give you contracts and things like that. You need to be vigilant, okay? So there is something, yeah, you need to be alert. Pay attention to the details, the truth, right? Live in your truth. People will always have a problem with who you are, whether it's religion, whether it's your beauty, whether it's your height, your hair color, whatever it is. I don't know why we spend so much time worrying about what people think of us, disempowering ourselves to other people <clears throat> that don't even have control of themselves. And we, the whole time, we're supposed to be this masters of ourselves having that inner knowing. So you are being advised heavily because I keep seeing the high priestess and the star to pay attention to your intuition. You are being given some type of download about people that are coming towards you to give you an offer. And you, need, I'm telling you, people coming towards you to give you an offer. And if you pick the right offer, it's the one that's coming to you from the most high through someone very upright, someone angelic, someone just like you. And if you pick the wrong offer, honey, it's not going to end well for you. You're going to start some type of karmic cycle. Do not be desperate to work with people. Do not be desperate for offers, business positions, anything like that. Do not be desperate for money. Do not be desperate for success. Take your time in life. Okay, take your time. People can plan your endings all they want. But guess what? Until the Most High said you're going to be out of this world on this day, you ain't going nowhere. And you are not going nowhere. So let them plan. Let them plot. Let them do whatever it is that they want. This is an angry, again, this, there goes the star. Pay attention to your intuition. Stay true to yourself. Okay? So this family can be pissed off all they want. You may have even had a kink of cuffs that asked you for a reading. You didn't know who he was. You probably never met this man. Or maybe you met him before. Some of you, you don't even know. Someone may have reached out to some of you for a reading or some type of counseling. And you told them some type of truth. And that truth you told them is bothering this family because it caused some type of awakening. Something you told him, he went and looked into it and it turned out that it was true. So now he went through some type, I'm telling you, through an awakening. And this awakening caused a tower for these people because he's leaving them behind. He sees them for who they are. And he's like, I don't want to be part of this anymore. He may have even told them not to fool around with you, but they're very angry behind the scenes. So they've been doing stuff to interfere with your forward movement. Okay. Whatever you told someone, and I don't know if you did it intentionally, I doubt it because you probably didn't even know who was asking you for counseling. It could just be someone asking you for advice for some of you. It could be if you are a practitioner, someone asking you for services to do a reading for them and you end up giving them information you don't know is very imperative for their situation that they're in. Someone has been confused his whole life. He has been in something in a family and it didn't make sense to him, but he didn't know how to get out of it, how to really rationalize what he was a part of. And you helped him put two and two together. You said something to this man about what his family was doing behind the scenes or what they were involved in. I'm telling you, this is what they do behind the scenes. They feel entitled to other people. They don't mind destroying other people's future to make sure that they are okay. This is what they do. It's a group of narcissists. It's, the fa it's a family of narcissists. And they're very upset with you. They've made it their mission to come after you. They may even want to bring you legal issues. They can't do that. 
you have people that have been invading some of your privacy trying to find evidence on you that can get you locked up they haven't been able to find anything so some of them may get desperate and force some type of fraudulent case against you and they just want to make them look dumb in the public eye this is not going to be something that's secretive this is not going to be a private case or something it's just going to embarrass them because people are going to see them like why do why is it like a whole organization or a whole community thinks this way and no one sees a problem with it in that community like the world is going to be laughing at a group of people if they come against you and he's already said something to them to leave you alone because he knows how they are someone is coming out of the dark and literally walking into the light and if you and him end up partnering up together this is a duo right duality this symbolic of light and dark this message has came up before someone is going through some type of awakening awakening okay yeah the family is very disappointed he could have experienced some type of loss as well i don't know if he's going through a divorce or something and he's cutting his loss and staying away from these people because he's realizing they may have even betrayed him but some of you who this masculine you were around him right and he saw you in this light he this, they didn't want him seeing you in this light as someone very independent so sufficient so they may have told him you were a gold digger, you were this, you were that, you were a leech, right? You didn't have nothing going on, but the whole time this was you, this was you, right? <clears throat> this was you, and he's finding that out. He said, they lied to me. Yeah, well, he don't find out the truth. Is this a, could it be a king of wands? Oh, he don't find out the, I'm telling you, he found out the truth and he sees you as wish fulfillment. Is that I knew, I said, I, I had knew something when I saw this girl, when I saw this woman. I had knew something. I know her from somewhere, you know, like from the Hatter, Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland, the Hatter. I know him. Yeah, something like that. He's like, I know him. I know her, right? So now he's sticking to his course, answering his ancestors call, right? To come towards you, make an offer, but you all need to be mindful as always, because you know on my platform, I'm always going to encourage you to be mindful, okay? always be mindful you are at the end of your trials and tribulations and you're not going through trials and tribulations because you took a wrong path you're going through trials and tribulations because his family has been working against you behind the scenes but you've managed to push through it's that we've blocked everything else how is this person still moving through because they're in their purpose they're in their purpose some of these some of these organizations try to isolate you and have you rejected and things like that and you're still pushed through you say i don't care who supports me or who does not i already know the most high supports me so i'm going to keep going on with my life someone has an angel that's with you 24 7 watches over you like their child you could be their child for all their con their concern because your angel your guardian angel and yourself separate from source at the same time so the two of you are like you know they see you as their child they're solely created I mean, not created, but you know, they're solely here to protect you and they're going to go all out for you. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're going to go all out for you, right? I'm telling you. They're going to give you downloads, bring things to your attention, right? Bring things to your attention so you stay in the know. You stay in the know. These people were celebrating your downfall. They celebrated a little too early because of some type of action they took. I don't know what is what is up with these kind of communities. They're always celebrating some type of vain, yeah, some type of vain situation. So they come up with some type of ridiculous childish plan. They execute it, and then for a moment they're happy that they've they've done it, only to find out it was a disappointment, right? Yeah. So they came up with another plan. It was another disappointment. So they're gonna go back to the drawing board because this is what these kind of communities do, okay? But uh, you could have like an angel that's here that has formed a whole plan. Like he's, I don't know if this is a he, but the he keep coming out because I see, <laughs> I don't know. Like some people say the, the character in here, this figure is a woman. Some say it's a man. It does not matter. Okay. It's the energy that counts. This person has a whole plan on how they're going to remove you out of a situation. So again, People can people can plan your ending or world they want, but until the universe says, "Hey, this is the day you get out of here," 
you ain't going nowhere. So they can plan all they want. All it's going to do is end up destroying themselves. So you have nothing to worry about. Some of you are about to be connecting with your soul tribe, moving along in life while these people are stuck in the situations that they are in, the places, they, the, the situations, the fender benders they put themselves in, thinking they were building, they were setting some type of trap for, trap for you, excuse me, okay? And you're about to be living in abundance around surrounded by people giving you that equal give and take and it doesn't have to be love it can just be you connecting with people that are like-minded as yourself and that's all a lot of star seeds ever really care about is that making sure they're healing people people that understand themselves people taking their power back living in their truths and things like that that's really all we think to care about we're not worried about who likes us who doesn't like us yeah judgment is final judgment is final okay a prophecy has been fulfilled with that temperance and that uh, um hanging man out there a prophecy has definitely been fulfilled uh, on your end and on their end you are some of you are not supposed to be here today some of you should not be still stable in life because these are people that have been trying to undo a lot of youth foundation so you're out in the street begging and you can go back to them whether these are families lovers uh employers whatever so you can go back to them and ask them for help but you have been held down by spirit like you are standing firm in your foundation because your ancestors your angels they're not playing about you this lifetime or any other lifetime and these people are fighting behind the scenes because you're still standing your ground there could be some type of legalities that are going on or maybe they're fighting about bringing you some type of legalities talking about oh you you accused us of doing this on this day so we're taking you to court you say okay let's go and it's going to be something so frivolous it's going to make them look like a bunch of clowns if they do this if they do this please be mindful i'm telling you it's not going nowhere there could be a community that's even in some type of legalities like someone took some type of action against them and they're suing them and it's going to undo this community, this organization. They're about to lose everything. Like there's an organization or a community going through endings, like towers, back to back towers, back to back towers. Like some of these people used to be real desperate. You know, some of some of them used to be real desperate to be in your energy. They feel entitled to it. Now they're thinking twice. Mm, I don't know about that. Like they want your energy, but coming in your energy is dangerous for them. It's like every time they come. Every time they astral project towards you, something happens. They end up sick, end up losing money. Yeah, they end up sick, end up losing money. Something happens, falling from grace, being exposed. It's just too much going on. Too much going on. Yeah, astral projecting. Absolutely causing illusions. They're desperate to be around you. There's a group of men. This could be like four or five men sitting together, coming up with some type of plan. Say, hey, Maria, we need you to go and, and visit Jasmine. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. This is Maria coming towards you to give you an offer from these men behind the scenes. They're building some type of frivolous company where she's going to come and tell you, hey, he's opening a new location in Montana. And he thinks, like, you know, he wants you to run that location. He says it's hard to find people like you and blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. All you got to do is just sign this contract. You don't need to sign a contract with anyone. You don't need to sign a contract with anyone. I'm telling you, you better have your sword pulled out at these people, this person, this woman. Pull your sword out. Just look at her like, mm, I think not, Maria. I think not. Tell, tell him I'm not interested. Maria is coming. She's coming. Oh, she's coming. She's going to be disappointed. Maria, Maria. Yeah, Maria may change her mind to come back to to come towards you. Okay? Maria is changing her mind. This is this message here is going to be exposing some type of plan once it's live. Once it premieres, it's is exposing some type of plan a group of men have come up with behind the scenes. It's not going to work, so they may not be sending her towards you after all. But you never know. You know, karmics are stubborn. They still want to see something through. I'm going to see for myself. Yeah, and they always end up uh, uh, disappointed. I'm telling you. Yeah. Mm. It's a it's a S-H-I-T show behind the scenes. 
behind the scenes. You will not be connecting with these people. You are not going to be attending any type of invitations they give you. And you're being told if they invite you anywhere, do not attend. Do not attend. You see here, the Six of Cups is in the reverse and the Three of Cups is in the reverse. These are not your friends. These are people trying to set you up to cause you an ending and get you off of your path, get you to stray off of your path. Nothing they're giving you is worth a dime. It's all false. They are fighting amongst themselves. These are not people that even give two SHIT about each other. Okay? They celebrated a little too early. And I said, this is what they always do. Someone made some type of decision, some type of calling, and they were out here, yes, celebrating. And Swords has humbled them. It's not going in their favor. It said they were celebrating for no reason. These are people that get together and get drunk. They just drink all day. They get off work. Hey, we're going to meet at, at, uh, at the spot. At this point, the spot knows all of their names, how many shots they get, what kind of drinks. They drink all kinds of different drinks at night. They start with tequila, go to margarita, go to something else, go to rum. These are women or men that don't have any limit on what they will drink. If it tastes good, they'll drink it. If it gets them, if they get, if it gets them that high, they'll drink it. Okay, no boundaries, no type of sophistication about themselves, nothing, nothing. Just get together and get drunk. Come up with foolish plans. I'm telling you, come up with foolish plans. This man is not wanting to be part of this family anymore. There's a divorce going on. He's separating himself from these people. This family is going through some type of exposure. They're losing some type of contract, business contract. There's a couple going through a divorce. And all of this is going on because they came after you. They didn't see things going this way, but hey, here we go. It was always meant to go this way. There's absolutely a couple going through a divorce, okay? This King of Cups could be separating from someone he does not want to be with anymore, but they're trying to coerce him into staying with her. He don't want to be with that woman because he knows. she She's a plant. She don't love that man. She just loves the money. Yeah, I'm telling you. I said she don't love the man, and the Ace of freaking Cups comes out in the reverse. She don't love him. And he's falling out of love too. He's awakening, freeing himself from this situation, no longer giving to the situation, no longer participating. People's finances are, are out of balance here because they've been invested in the wrong things. Instead of investing into their futures and their families, their health, their well-being, they've been investing in you, collective, as far as what? paying practitioners behind the scenes to cause you stagnation. And now a lot of them don't have any money. A lot of them may not even have a place to live. Some of these people stay in group communities, going through heartbreaks, a lot of emotions all over the place, going through betrayals, fighting with each other, arguing every day. You can see here all the reverses. And this is spirit bringing things into balance as above, so below. So these are the things they manifested for themselves in the spirit. And the spirit is manifesting it, you know, bringing it into materialism, into the, um, in the physical. It is materializing in the physical, okay? A fall from grace for everybody involved. No genuine connections, no new beginnings, nothing. This is, these are the things they were taking from you. While they're going through all of these laws, your angel is a hey, we're setting you free. You're you're free to go. Not that you were you were ever bounded, but to them you were bounded. We were securing you until this situation was over. So now we're you know letting you out. You weren't you were not imprisoned by these people. We were keeping you safe so that we could take care of business. You're free to go. We don't have to hold you in prison anymore. You're not in timeout anymore. Some of you used to be free to go here, go there, go there. But now when you want to go somewhere, what happens? Something switches off in your brain. You're like, mm, I don't feel like going anymore. That was source protecting you. That's protection. That's your intuition. That's your discernment. That gives the discernment telling you, no, 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 no. Not today, Sally. Not today. Stay home. That was protection. That's your angels touching your heart and telling you that's not the right choice. Not right now. Stay home. Like find a book to read, watch a movie, 
light a candle, do your nails, do something, but not going out today. Okay, yeah. And now, now I'm telling you, you're being set free to go out and explore the world. Go and have new experiences. Educate yourself. This is what I do behind the scenes, by the way. I'm either watching videos online, studying, because I'm in school right now, trying to complete my master's. Hopefully, I can do that and get it over with pretty soon, because I have a whole lot of things I'm trying to put together. But, you know, yeah, this is what I'm, I do behind the scenes, you all. Like, I'm heavily invested in improving myself. Like, I've committed myself to my path, and I'm going to stick to it. And even though I have people that are trying to interfere with it, I don't really give two hits what they're doing. That's on them. We all have our day in court. And there's a couple in here, apparently, for you, collective, that's having their day in court. So everyone on my end that's coming after me, you're going to have your day in court, too. So focus and invest your, in yourself. The page source has to do with you getting out into the world, right? Having new experiences. You learn through experiences, right? You ever seen the difference between a Beverly Hill kid and a kid from the South, like the South side, the city or something? What do you notice oftentimes about them? Okay, let's actually do private school and public school, okay? We're not going to talk about the quality of education because we know public school children, they're being uh, disadvantaged, right? They don't have access to all of the resources that they need to have access to in, in order to have quality education. And then the teachers are not paid fairly, so their commitment, shicky, shicky. You can't blame them. It is what it is. But look at the kids in private schools, right? or those prestigious schools and things like that. And then look at the kids in public school. A lot of the times the kids in these private schools and prestigious schools, they don't have that uh, uh, quick-witted mindset like the public school kids, right? Because they haven't been exposed to certain things in life. And there are lots, lots of things in life you can learn through experience. A lot of the times the best way to go about something is through experience. So this is why a lot of public school kids are more quick-witted. They're more experienced, wiser. Yeah, the uh, uh, private school or prestigious kid may be book smart, but they're not street smart, life smart, or anything. They can leave school today and they don't know how to fill out a job application, right? Or they don't know how to do the for the laundry, how to shop online, you know, where to take the dog for uh, whatever. They got to call mom. They got to call dad because they've always had a maid there or nanny there to do all of that stuff for them. They don't know how to cook their own food, but the public school kid knows how to do all of that because what? Mom and dad said, oh, honey, you're going you gonna to learn how to take care of yourself. But I got a job to do. I got to go to work. I can't be here all day doing this for you. I love you, though. I love you. But we, we is going to teach you how to cook. We're going to teach you how to clean up after yourself because we don't got the time right now we love you but we need you to be you know independent learn how to take care of yourself so we're not spoon feeding you for the rest of your life because we won't be always around to spoon feed you right yeah that, that that's what it is that's what it is so you got to go out into the world they're letting you go out they're like you're no longer in confinement you're free to go your time out is over because these people here have been have been out here acting a fool and we've been protecting you. But now you're free to be out here. Say what you have to say. Live in your truth. Stick to your path. You already know what your path is. We already review everything to you that you need to know. And if you need to need if you need to know more, we will reveal it to you in time. OK, yeah. And it's a disappointment for these people that you know the truth. You know who you are. You're confident. You speak your truth. You live in your truth. You stand for nothing but the truth. It's a loss for them. It's a disappointment for them. Because as soon as as soon as they come to you with that bull S H I T, you got that sore pool like you say, uh-uh, I think not. Some of these people are still living with the old image of you when you all used to be meek and feeble, uncertain of yourself. That's the energy the enemy likes you in. That's the energy the enemy likes you in. When you're too, when you're, when you're, un, in, when you're not confident, unconfident about yourself, when you're not assertive, you don't, you're not ten feet deep into what it is you stand for. You have to be, you have to be, 
if you decide to do something, you need to be 10 feet deep into to it. I don't, not just 10 foot, put both of your foot in that sucker and keep it sturdy in there. Put it stuck, stick it in the ground if you have to. And let them know it is what it is. This is what I said it is. This is my path. This is what I'm sticking to. I don't care if it makes you feel uncomfortable. If you think we are narcissists for believing in what we want to believe in and standing up for what we want to stand up for, then that's your business. You're going to have to figure that out with your master and your community, but that don't have nothing to do with us. And this is why a lot of these people are going through loss because they don't understand that simple wisdom. You're not in power of anything. You're not in power or in charge of anything. I'm telling you. You're not. There's a woman that's brokenhearted behind the scenes because a man is leaving her. He sees her for exactly who she is. He does not want to be committed to her. There's a man in here too that has like multiple relationships going on. This queen of wands could be like a side piece, being comfortable being a side piece and she's being left out in the cold. A queen of cups is being left out in the cold as well. This ain't none of you. This is not your energy collective. These are all people in the background of you going through it for coming after you. You had a bunch of people that got together, got on the same page. Hey, we don't know each other. We don't like each other. But you know what? We're all going to go destroy this earth angel here. And then they end up here. You were the common denominator. denominator. This is what they were planning, right? But here you go. Okay yeah yeah i'm telling you someone is sneaking away from a, a, a family putting an end to his relationship with them i'm telling you putting an end to his relationship with them someone is going through a rebirth someone there's a masculine in here i don't know if this is an ex for you going through some type of death he's not able to come in you know there's something where you either had a contract with someone and he forsook that contract i don't know if forsook is a word he forsaking that contract whatever it is well he didn't he didn't uh fulfill his side of the uh, contract basically right he let you down someone rejected you before they really knew you so they're going through some type of ending right if they're planning or they were planning to come towards you to make you an, a genuine offer now it's a no go for source that contract is over it is absolutely over yeah i see this seven of swords here but i'm not getting a malicious vibe with this seven of swords this is possibly you sneaking away or someone sneaking away from some type of situation to have your victory and make an offer to someone else okay to make their offer from to, uh, to someone else yeah he's taking action you're taking action in your life while he's taking action i'm telling you this woman is going through a betrayal that's how she feels she's going through a broken heart She's in the heartbreak motel by herself, her lonesome self. And that man said, I'm good. But whoever he, whoever this is from this community that's coming towards you, you two don't have a contract anymore. Whether it's a king of cups, king of wands, you don't have a contract with either of these people anymore. So they're going to have to go on. You may have a contract with a Sagittarius or someone else. I don't know, honey. Source is going to tell you who it is. Someone may want to confess to you, ask you for forgiveness, bring something to your attention. Someone may be looking into something. It's a whole lot going in here. You may be receiving some type of communication as well. Good news. Honey, yeah, I will stay clear of all of these people. There's ulterior motive with all of them. You are not supposed to be with any of these people from these communities. And you will know by who approaches you. I'm telling you. You will know by who approaches you. All of these people are working together behind the scenes to come in with some type of offer to have you trapped in your mind. Is that, oh, you know, I don't know if I should stick to my path anymore. That's a that's a great offer. That's an amazing offer. You, you, you better not. This is a deceitful plan to have you trapped in your mind in life overall so they can have control of you. Do not be eager to have anything. Put an end to this chapter. Let them stay over there stuck in their minds, holding themselves in prison, in toxicity, in bitterness, in hatefulness. People don't like when you're confident. 
I'm telling you, people don't like when you're confident. This is what they want you in. Uncertain, don't know your path, don't know, have no direction, can't see clearly. Even though the rain is gone, you still can't see clearly. Yeah, they, they want you in your mind. They want you in your mind. And sources out here telling you, hey, I already give you foresight of this situation. You already know what the heck is going on. You don't have a calling or a contract with any of these people. This is them being intimidated by you, trying to block your future so that you're never successful. They don't want the world to see you have access to you. There's something malicious going on behind the scenes with these people, and it's all going to be exposed. And they're going to be embarrassed. I'm telling you. Something is going on with them behind the scenes and they're going to be exposed and they're going to be embarrassed by this. They think they're coming in to embarrass you, but it, it ain't what it is. You may have even had someone trying to invite some of you to like a podcast or something to make a fool out of you. Is it? Look, 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 look. I can't wait to hear what she's going to say, what he's going to say on this podcast. You know, they say the dumbest thing. We're going to record everything they say and then embarrass them with it. And maybe some of you don't even know you were sent offered, but communication is being interfered with for so for so many of you that you're not getting the com the um uh, offers, these dumb offers from them. Yeah, you're not getting it. You're in introspection. You're not paying attention. Someone is hiding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone is hiding. I was gonna say someone is hiding, and then the moon came out. Someone is hiding. They're planning another ritual. They're planning another ritual and it's not going to work. Anything, any type of work, any spells, dark energy, they're planning to send you past, person, future is all dismantled. It's not going to work. We're returning everything to them. Okay. Everything to them. I'm telling you, this is them. This is them. <laughs> It's a nar I'm telling you, they're all narcissists. They, they are all narcissists. They're, there's there's like some type of, I don't know who it is that's so upset behind the scenes that someone is moving on. It's causing them an ending that someone is leaving. Someone was coming in to give you some type of offer and they put some type of end to it. They interfere in some way, shape, or form. Don't worry about that stuff. Like you're going to be receiving an offer from someone that has nothing to do with this situation for a lot of you. And for a lot of you, you'll connect with this person at the right time. When all of this blows over, you'll connect at the right time. You'll be like, hey, stranger. But you don't really feel like strangers because you two are what? Connected on, on a soul level. On a soul level. On a soul level, you're not going to be meeting with someone at all. This is coming sideways. You're not going to be meeting with someone. It's coming sideways because someone is still contemplating on sending a message. This is how a lot of these warlocks are always stuck in their minds about decisions, but they want to be seen as men. They say, uh, I thought you said you were a warlock. Aren't you bold and powerful? What had happened? What had happened, Sammy? But these kind of people, they've been stuck in their mind for so long because what they are is something that was imposed on them when they were younger. So they've been that a whole life. They started off young, being programmed to be narcissists, to be warlocks and things like that. So now that they're older, that's all they know. So they think you're in the wrong for being confident, for sticking to your path, minding your business. These are men that will try to dismantle all aspects of your life so they can come in and be the only saving grace. It's like, I'm going to block all offers for you so I can be the only one I have that can give you an offer. And then you can depend on me, on me for your livelihood. And then they come towards you and you still reject them. And they'll say, what the heck is going on? You don't got nothing. Yeah, I don't got nothing because you took everything away. But that don't mean I want you. That does not mean I want you. Once you, I'm telling you, there's an emperor going through a tower. This could have been something he was planning. 
He said, I'm going to take all that star seed resources away. I'm going to block their work. I'm going to block their platform. I'm going to block their positions at work, their promotions at work, and things like that. And then I'm going to go in and make an offer to them. And maybe he tried, and maybe you turned him down before he even said hello. But there's an emperor losing everything behind the scenes. Maybe this is something he does not see coming, or this is someone that's into rituals, and he loves everything for coming for you, for doing rituals. Yeah, he loves everything. Uh, this is what's about to happen, but we're going to speak it like it's the now. He lost everything for coming for you for coming for you. So now something he may want to do is come in and give you an offer with a little bit that he has left because he's trying to mend things, compromise with you. You're, this is not the time to compromise. With this car coming out, this is not the time to compromise. He's coming in to give you some type of offer and you have your sword pulled out. Yeah, he's coming in to give you an offer and you have your sword pulled out. He said, I, I don't want to compromise. I'm telling you. I don't want to compromise with you. We know what's going on with you. We know. We know what's going on with you, sir. We knew. And your angels are still there making sure you're good. And your enemies are still doing the moon rituals. You're still listening to your intu oh, I was gonna say intuition. You're still listening to your intuition about everything. They want you to know that you are right on the mark. You are on the money with what's going on around you. You know exactly what's going on around you. Do not let anyone come and stray you off of your path because this is how close you are. The Ten of Wands has to do with you being close to the end, right? Near the end. This is what it's, yeah, that's what it says on here, near the end. Of all your hard work and stuff like that, all the efforts you put in, you're almost at the end of your destination. So basically, the story behind this Ten of Wands is this man here, he is on his way to the town, okay? But the way he's walking, right, he's carrying all of these wands. He can't really see the direction, but he's just hoping, kind of like a blind mind, he's just going in a direction, and he doesn't know if he's even in the right, right direction. Maybe something is going on, but he's determined to get to the town. And he is going to keep going regardless of how heavy his load is, what burden he's carrying and things like that. And he, the town is right up ahead of him. Like he can literally, if he pull his head up, if he were to look up, he would see that he's close to home. Basically, that's what it is with the Ten of Wands. And this can be symbolic of surgery. This can be symbolic of you being a pushover. This can be, it has a lot of meanings to it. Okay. Yeah, and you're staying vigilant. I'm telling you, you're being advised to pay attention to your intuition. You're not confused about anything. People want to come in and confuse you. You're not confused. Okay? You know exactly what's going on. Stay vigilant. You're not in danger because your angels are protecting you, and they want you to know you are protected. You are going to have victory, right? And this is because of the path that you are on. This is the path you are. You know what the biggest challenge is? When, yeah, you were called to do what it is you're doing. The One of the reasons we're here, and it's so simple, but people make it so complicated, is you being able to stay true to yourself. And people make it so complicated because they tend to put value more on what people have to say about them, what people think of them, than what they think of themselves. If you apply more value to your opinion, I tell you, you don't care what anyone thinks of you. I can walk out here today wearing a tutu at 32 years old. And if it makes me happy, guess what? That's what I'm going to do. I don't care what you think. I don't care. Because your two cents to my 98% ain't worth a dime. Nothing. Ain't worth nothing. When, that, that's why I always say on my platform, when you ask people for advice, they give you their two cents, you need to put your other, your 98% in there. So they say, oh, thank you for the advice. And that's it. You don't need to let them know what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. That's not your business. You already asked them for their advice. And you know you have the ones that you don't ask for advice and they just offer it. Say, oh, mm -hmm. Settle down, Sally. 
that's that's one of the simplest things that we have to do but we as humans we complicate it living in your truth disregarding people's opinion of you disregarding people's opinion of you not caring what people think of you not caring what people say right this is something a lot of us struggle with not just like the the poor people middle class the upper class two people in the one percent you will be shocked they struggle i feel like the people in the one percent the elitist they struggle more with that than we do because when you're in that level when you're on that level right <clears throat> of society in society there are certain things you have you can do you cannot do you want to look like you fit in you want to look like you have money sound like you have money smell like you have money all of that is a burden we put on ourselves well they put on their self i don't know why i said r honey i'm not in the one percent all of that is a burden that they put on themselves having to prove that they are part of this community i am part of the one percent so they put limitations on who they'll talk to what they'll say what they're gonna wear you ever notice how celebrities be dressing the same when you is they you see your outfit on one today you see it on another 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 person tomorrow they show up at the Met gala dressed the same as they oh, aren't you guys tired of this like why why are you dressing alike did you two plan this uh the beverly hill moms what do they always do they hang out together for so long they start dressing alike same haircut right same outfit and it's like uh you all don't see a problem with this individualism is something that's very important when you're when you incarnate individualism being true to yourself that's what the star has to do with as well being true to yourself pouring into yourself in the environment that you are in that's what this woman is doing she's there this woman is there because she has nothing to hide she lives in her truth okay she's one with the environment around her she nurtures wherever she she is okay she nurtures that's why she's pouring into the water and on the land she nurtures wherever she is things grow around her okay things grow around her and when you pour into yourself when you live to your in, in your truth you accept yourself for who you are that's what happens you don't care and i don't i'm not saying you don't care as in you're thinking you're better than people or people that say i don't give two s what you think about me that's not what confidence is that's being obnoxious calm down calm down okay this is i'm telling you this is what we struggle with and we all go through this myself included i went through the same stage of struggling to be mean to find out who i am and the world makes it hard for us the world does not want us to be who we're supposed to be because if we know who we are then they can't control us and we're not out here trying to you know dismantle their systems and things we're just telling people hey have a mind of your own what's so dangerous about telling people that to have a mind of their own we tell our kids when they go to school why don't follow those kids into the bathroom don't follow those kids don't do this don't do what they're doing have a mind of your own and then what happens we get out here and we bully people as adults we're bullying other adults and then telling our kids why to have a mind of their own we're going to need you to pick a side and stick to it pick a side and stick to it pick a side pick a side there's a queen of pentacles that's burdened by something that's been that's being balanced out yeah she is burdened by something being balanced out okay you being given an offer or something like that let me hurry up and finish this read yeah you're being given an offer a decision has been made she's trying to cause conflict in it she wants someone going back and forth in their mind second guessing this them giving you this offer someone is going for it someone is going for it they see you as someone that's very committed very determined focused uh, 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 uh what is it like you care about what it is what it is you do and that's what someone loves that's what they've been looking for this whole time so they're coming in to give you a solid commitment 
and it could be in work and this is spirit guiding them to do this you answer your call and spirit their ancestors or spirit is having them answer their call not making them but they've illuminated something to him or her that's coming towards you to make this offer and they know they're coming towards the right person i'm telling you everything is ready what's that saying tiffany haddish haddish uh, says she's ready okay everything is ready everything is ready okay all of your manifestations everything you've been manifesting is here it is i'm telling you it's here your your offer your blessing your abundance is here someone knows you're the right person to nurture whatever offer this is they're coming towards you with uh-huh okay so she can be trapped in her mind all she wants she can want you to be trapped in your mind all she wants that don't mean you're trapped in your mind you know the truth and it's burdening her yeah he's taking action still it's burdening her they're trying to do everything to stop this man from coming towards you or whoever this organization some of you this is a whole organization that wants to come and work with you and you have people behind the scenes blocking them and they were trying to hide some of you but you are exposed you're, you're you are being seen they don't realize the very people they were trying to hide you from knows where you are they see you they say i see her i see him you can keep trying to hide them but i already found them <laughs> I already found them. Yeah, they found you and they're coming. They're coming in. They're taking their bold step forward. Say, hey, here we come. Here we come. Oh, yeah, we know you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. We're ready. We've cleaned up like we needed to. And it looks like you're ready, ready. You've been ready. Right? You have the power. Yeah, and it's, someone is burning behind the scenes about this. They can't cause any more manipulations. They can't cause any more stagnation. This is what she was doing for the longest time. It's causing stagnation because she knew someone was interested in you. Someone wanted to work with you. And she's burdened by this. Right? You may have someone that's protecting you behind the scenes. There's a masculine that's living in fear because they've been taking actions behind the scenes to do you something. Someone was planning to come in and deceive you. And they know you are sharp as heck. So he does not know how he's going to come in and deceive you. I'm telling you, there are a, a group of brothers behind the scenes planning something. And said, we're going to send this female to her. Yeah. And she's going to go and make her the offer. There may even be some of you, they may be even prepping a woman to go into your divine masculine and give him an offer. And he's going to get stuck in another cycle. That's how there's a, someone here. There's a man that got caught up in a karmic cycle. Because he accepted an offer from a woman that was groomed to be his ideal woman. And now he's stuck with her. He's trying to leave and she's there stalking him everywhere. Yeah, he's trying to leave. Listen, what does this card say? Trust yourself. Trust yourself. These people don't want you listening to your intuition. But Spirit is telling you, trust yourself. Listen to your intuition. Be vigilant. Pay attention to everything. Before you make a decision, think about it, analyze it. Don't let anyone rush you into anything. If they make you an offer, say, give me three months to think about it. Give me six months to think about it. Okay? These kind of people, they don't have that kind of time. And if they watch this, honey, before you make a decision, just think about it. Read the fine print. Go to a lawyer and ask for advice if you are not able to, to make the decision. Ask for legal counseling. Go to a lawyer and ask for advice. Okay? Go and ask for advice. Say, hey, I was giving this uh, offer, this work offer, but I'm not 100% sure about it. I was wondering if you could please read over it and let me know if it's a good idea. Okay? Because I don't want to get stuck, up, stuck in something that's going to be a nightmare for him. Okay, so don't be in a rush to do nothing. And again, if someone is coming in to give you a, contr a contract, think about it. A lot. I don't. Very rarely should you ever need a contract. I don't know what kind of industry you you are in that you're going to need a contract to work with someone. Are you an influencer? I don't know what this is, but you need to be careful. There are people out here giving fake offers to people. 
only to have you trapped in something or they end up not paying you or something like that. Stick to your path. Work by yourself until source makes it clear to you that you are supposed to be working with someone. Because a lot of the times, you being able to work with certain people or the people you're supposed to work with, it'll happen naturally. It's not going to be something where it's like, oh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to plan to go in and do this. It'll just happen naturally. Naturally, you move to a city. Naturally, you run into someone. And naturally, you two uh, establish a friendship or something and you end up working together somehow. They're not telling you, oh, you got to work this for three months or six months or we're going to do this or do that we are the best one in the land and da, 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 da. they're not here to give you a sales speech sales speeches is so annoying it is so annoying anyways it's an inner ver or uh, inner vision cut through the fog of confusion with your power of discernment see what's real i'm telling you everything i literally just said everything i literally just said your heart is your gift you are a natural natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others you are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love i am nurturing okay some of you your calling has to do with you helping other people understand their emotions because we have excuse me because we have a lot of a lot of adults out here that don't know how to manage their emotions and they take their anger out on other people they don't feel fulfilled in life they see you working on your future committing yourself and things like that and they feel like it's their job to take you down because they say who do you think you are you're younger than me and you're trying to do this i didn't have the opportunity to do that billy why didn't you have the opportunity to do that did you disempower yourself and let someone else have the uh, dominance over you did you go and start working for an institution and made it all your life? I remember I used to work for an institution and this woman came into my office one day to talk to me and I could hear her thoughts. I could hear her thoughts and she was saying that she had been stuck in that institution for 40 years. And she didn't know how to get out. She had missed out on the best time of her life. They didn't have no kids wanted to have kids, was not married, nothing, just stuck in that institution. All of the dreams that she she had were gone. And she had a lot of angry energy in her. She wasn't bitter. She was angry. She was angry. Like I could feel the animosity from a lot of the, the people in the in that company. And here you come, you star seeds, full of lights dreams aspirations and you're actually putting in the energy to make sure it comes into fruition and they are unhappy they don't know why they are going up against you and things like that you didn't do anything to them but they feel like they've missed out on their lives because they committed themselves to certain organizations <laughs> quotes not knowing they were a part of a cult now the best years of their lives have passed them by and then here you come in young pretty young thing pretty young vibrant thing with hopes dreams and aspirations you dare to go after so they feel like it's their job to block you you have the uh, higher ups coming after you sending these minions after you and things that get to block your forward movement because the higher ups they are the ones that created this cult like mentality and they are threatened by you they say oh He's going to take over my company. She's going to take over my company. She's trying to replace me. He's trying to replace me. He's not that, that, that higher up person is not saying it verbally, but that's what they're thinking. When you come in there with all of your ideas and things like that, they start feeling intimidated by you. Say, who the heck do you think you are? This is my company. No, it's not your company. A lot of the times it's not your company, but they've been placed in a position where they feel like it's their company it's not their company they've just been there for a long time for a long time and sometimes the owners of the company are working from behind the scenes and they don't have a tailbone to stand up for themselves and they are afraid of the people that they've put in power let's say they hire like a queen of pentacles or king of pentacles to manage a company and she's a nutcase behind the scenes Typically, King, Queen of Pentacles are people that are down to earth, very business minded, business savvy, 
they know what they're talking about. But in these kinds of situations, they don't know what God dang thing they're talking about. They're walking around like a bunch of airheads. They don't know what they're talking about. And you come in and you actually know what you're talking about and they are intimidated by you. It bothers them. God forbid you, they are biased or have some type of prejudice. And who, who the heck do you think you are, you little girl, you little boy telling me what the heck to do? He's like, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm suggesting on how, I'm making suggestions on how we can improve everything for the company. This is why, like, I had an experience like that before. And since I left, I don't make suggestions. Nope. I don't know nothing. And if I do make suggestions, it's the most mediocre answer I'm going to give you. I'm not telling you how to improve your company, how to not improve it. That's something I learned the hard way. So, nope. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, you know what? Um, something real mediocre. Nothing that's going to make a difference. But I, I can sit back and tell you and know how you can improve your system. But I'm not telling you because you're going to think I'm trying to take over your company. That's, that's what I've learned time and time again. So be mindful. That's coming out for someone. Be mindful with the company you're in, making suggestions on how you can improve things. Because while you may have genuine intent, the person that is above you may not see it that way. They're intimidated by you. They're power hungry. Someone is power hungry. And you're there telling them this and telling them that. They feel like you're challenging their authority. You're challenging their position. You're trying to prove to the members of the organization that you are a better leader. When you don't have any of those, you're not even thinking that way. You're just thinking you're helping. And that's how a lot of star seeds are. We always think we're just helping the situation. But people that are not like-minded as us don't see it that way. They're easily intimidated by us. So they want us to shut up. But what do they do when you leave? They start implementing all of the ideas that you said. Actually, before you even leave, they start doing it in subtle ways. And then they pretend like they came up with the idea. Yeah, they start pretending. That, honey, I don't suggest nothing worth value to business owners. I don't know, bosses, managers, I don't know nothing. My name is missing and I'm not in it. And if I suggest you something, honey, it's the most mediocre thing. You're going to think, oh, that's what, that's all she, that's all she's going to say. Yep. 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 I remember I had a meeting with, oh, uh, I'm not even going to say that. Yep. That's all I know. Sorry. Uh-huh. Anyways, divine timing. Be patient for some things take time to manifest fully in your life. Trust the process. Absolutely. And this is sometimes why people will come in trying to rush you to make decisions and things like that they want you to feel like you're missing out on something you ain't missing out on nothing this year out here the divine timing you have foresight of the future so don't be in a rush for anything okay nine something is almost over it's your compassion that makes you shine you are de devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for sparking up for speaking up for others your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service i am compassionate okay i'm telling you this is how you see it when you're making the suggestions you think you're just you know contributing to the team contributing to the team and that's not how they see it so you have to be mindful i'm not telling you to live in fear but honey learn to mind your business let them mind their business okay their business is they feel like they have it figured out in their companies. Let them let them mind their business and you mind your business to keep your peace and quiet. OK, if they say they have a system in place that's been working for them for umpteen years. A hundred years or something, 30 years, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years, let them, honey, let them do that. Don't, don't hurt your head. They know what they're doing. So they say, anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.